Elephant took to the podium and said that workers will now be able to picket at malls. Elephant says this follows an amendment to labor laws. Previously, unions were forbidden from picketing at some premises. Elephant also said that workers can no longer be dismissed for refusing to carry out a demand by an employer. She says new demands will now have to be referred to the bargaining chamber. Well, let's get more from the Congress. We cross live to our reporter, Tumole Mokhlade. Tumole, good to talk to you again. Uh, so the delegates will be voting today, although only one position is being contested. Is there an indication of when we can expect an outcome on some of the votes? Well, I've been speaking to COSATU officials here uh, at the 12th National Congress of uh, the Trade Union Federation, and uh, they basically have said that we can only realistically expect results, if not late this evening, realistically maybe even tomorrow only. Uh, just uh, moments earlier, officials from the Independent Electoral Commission, which is basically overseeing the counting and uh, administration of the voting processes, went on stage to brief delegates and let them know exactly where they stand in terms of where the process is. So as we stand, we can only expect uh, results uh, tomorrow. But as far as uh, the top positions in terms of leadership of Kasatu are concerned, it is almost a fire gone conclusion because uh, as it stands according to uh, Kosatu officials, uh, the, issue, the position of president is uncontested. Uh, the first and second deputy presidents are uncontested as well as the uh, treasurer's position. Um, the general secretary's position also uncontested. The only one is obviously the deputy general secretary position which is very, very highly contested and which was uh, at the core of many of the many political uh, discussions, battles and uh, many of the tensions that are played out here on the Congress floor uh, in the lead up to, of course, uh, that particular ballot. So as it stands, we just wait for the outcome of the ballot, which we are expecting, if not late tonight, certainly first thing tomorrow. All right, uh, Tumole, thank you for that update. We will leave it there. That's our reporter, Tumole Mahlade, live from Kasatu's National Congress in Midran, now on day three, the final day expected tomorrow.